Hi, I just finished a blog post um, called The Ultimate Guide to the Best Instagram Hashtag Generators. In there, I went through and reviewed 13 different hashtag research tools and hashtag generators. So I thought I'd do a short YouTube video. I'm not going to go through everything I do in the blog post, but I wanted to go through the top five Instagram hashtag research tools and generators. The first one is Photoloo. Now this is the one that we developed because we didn't find any hashtag generators out there that we thought were giving the best hashtags. And based on the research I did, it's still providing the best hashtags out there. I went through and reviewed and uploaded the same photo to five different hashtag generators and they compared the keywords to see which ones were the most relevant. And Photoloo had the most relevant keywords. The way that it works, you just go in and choose a photo to upload. Once you've uploaded the photo, it'll go out and look for hashtags based on keywords in that photo. Now in the blog post, I uploaded this exact same photo to five different sites to see the keywords. So if you want to see those results, go look at the blog post, but I'll kind of give you an idea here. Once you've uploaded the photo, you can choose the number of hashtags. Um, typically, I'm not only using hashtags for photo. I use the other tools that I'm going to show in the uh, in the rest of the video. So I might want to have like 20 here for the contents of the photo. Maybe I'll have 10 more based on the location. Here you can also choose the hashtag popularity. So uh, if you want to go most popular, you're going to see that it's a lot of really, these are really popular keywords you'll see. Now I'm not that popular of an Instagrammer. I probably wouldn't be able to rank very high for any of these keywords. So I typically don't use these. I like to use the very populars, right? So these are not as, po as popular as some of the other ones, but these are often good keywords for me to use for this particular photo. Next, number two on my list, and where I typically get the other 10 photos, is display purposes. This is a great little site where you can go in and type in a keyword and it'll come back with different hashtags. Now, while Photoloo is a hashtag generator, I've categorized this as a research tool, right? Because it doesn't, you can't actually upload a photo and it'll tell you the hashtags, but you can type something in. And the hashtags I find that it reviews are very good, okay? As an example, I type in Vancouver here. Uh, of course, I get Vancouver, but I get YVR, which is, uh, you know, the airport in Vancouver. Things like Explore Canada and uh, Explore BC. You know, I do a lot of travel photography in British Columbia. These are great hashtags when you're doing that. So these, it really gives very relevant keywords. It's not just doing keywords like Vancouver is awesome or ones that contain. So a lot of the hashtag tools that I reviewed, those are the types of things that came back. And maybe a couple of them are good, but not all of them. I find that display purposes gives me the best overall hashtags to supplement when I've added to Fortaloo. So that's my number two hashtag research tool on the list. All right, number three on the list is Focal Mark. Now, the reason that I like Focal Mark, it's more of a hashtag research tool. It's not one that you'll use on every photo, but what it does do is it gives you um, gives you hashtags based on a style, a location. You can also choose a camera if you want. Okay. So what this can be good for is just finding. Um, I'm not going to choose a camera. It's going to use travel and location of Vancouver. Um, it'll give you some good potential hashtags that you might not have thought of, and often it gives you hashtags that you didn't see in display purposes or for to So it gives you some good ideas, some other hashtags you may want to use. The reason is, is because these lists are actually handcrafted. So someone's actually gone through and come up with these lists. So you can kind of get a bit different hashtags than you'll find in some of the other tools that are just all automatically generated. Obviously, the disadvantage of this is because it's handcrafted. If you don't, if you're looking for something that's not within the actual list that they've already put together, you're kind of out of luck. So you don't use it on every photo, but I do find it's really useful. And it's my third most favorite hashtag research tool. Next, I'm going to go in here and look at Lee tags. Now, I hadn't really used this this app before I went through and was reviewing them. But after reviewing viewing dozens of apps that were on the App Exchange, and the, and the Android store has tons of them, the Apple store doesn't have as many, um, probably because they got blocked out because some of them are a bit spammy and a lot of them weren't that useful. But I found this one was really good and probably the best of the ones that I found as far as a new app. You can go through and you can choose based on category. So you can come here and it gives you, you know, based on the category. You can also go through and search for the keywords as well. 
Okay, and I'll come back with some of them. And again, these are pretty good. It gives you percentages as well. I find they're not quite as good as display purposes. There are more kind of Vancouver food, Vancouver life, but it does come with Explore BC and some of the other ones as well too. And the reason I do like this one is it allows you to keep favorites of tags. So after you go through and find the tags you like through display purposes or somewhere else, you can go and save them here and then basically easily copy out of this and copy and then put into your Instagram. This is easier than putting in like a text file, which I used to do or like a note file on my phone. Um, so that could be useful just for saving hashtags that you're commonly using, right? Like location or travel tags. Again, so that's kind of my fourth favorite. Right, number five on the list of the top hashtag resources and generators is all hashtags. Now this used to be a pretty good site um, before the technology improved and things like photo loo and display purposes came out. Um, but now, I find that the keywords here aren't very good. So I don't really use this as much for keyword research, but the one feature that it has that I still do like is in the chart section. Here you can go and see top lists of hashtags from today, the last seven days, last month, or all time. I find this is kind of useful to go through and see how hashtags are trending. And I may, f I may see some hashtags here that I want to go in and check out on Instagram. So I typically only use all hashtags these days for this particular feature, but that got it onto the list of the top five hashtags research and generation tools. And that's the complete list. Hopefully you found this useful. If you wanted to go into more detail of all the 13 tools I reviewed or look at the results of the test, you can go to uh, photoloo.com, go to the blog, and look at the blog post there. Hopefully you found this useful. Happy Instagramming.